What is worse for muscle? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down cannabis and I'm going to be breaking down alcohol to tell you which one I personally think is worse for the bodybuilders and for muscle growth itself. Every single year, more and more countries and more and more regions are legalizing cannabis. Therefore, more people are openly smoking it. Nice. However, as a disclaimer, I want to say, do not do anything illegal. If cannabis is illegal in your area, do not do it. If drinking alcohol is illegal in your area, do not do it. So first of all, they obviously both have their negative impacts, but they also both affect your ability to put on muscle and to maintain muscle very, very differently. Many people are already aware of a lot of the downsides. For example, brain development in cannabis is a big thing that people speak about. However, people don't often realize that alcohol actually has a larger effect on brain development at a comparable dose to cannabis, which is obviously a pretty big thing. Just to put it into perspective, if alcohol was found today, right now, it would be classed as a class A drug and you can look that up. But by no means am I sugarcoating any of them. Obviously smoking cannabis is probably the worst form of doing it in comparison to like ingesting it, having the gummies, the cakes, etc. because not only are you smoking the cannabis and creating smoke into your lungs, which obviously isn't gonna be good, you're also smoking the paper that it's rolled in, the tobacco that you're probably putting with it, so you are getting more toxins from that if you are smoking it that way. But as a brisk comparison on effects between the two, if you're looking at body composition, increased rest and heart weight, increased risk of heart disease, etc., etc., then alcohol is going to be significantly higher than actually cannabis itself. But to answer the question on specifically bodybuilding, black and white, let's go through the negatives of cannabis to start with. So number one, it is going to be detrimental. Yes, of course it is, because if you smoke too much, as some people may have done watching this, then you will know you can get demotivated. You might not even end up going to the gym because you're now not motivated enough and therefore just miss out on gains there. And also, if you smoke like a certain strain, or maybe if you have too much, I don't really know, you might end up getting the munchies. It's a classical known fact that people end up getting the munchies after smoking weed. Therefore, if you're in a cutting phase and then you've had cannabis or you you smoked cannabis and then you overeat that will then be detrimental to your gains and to your fitness and physique goals because you're just putting yourself in probably into a surplus and then spilling over and not actually getting them gains wasn't that delicious also as well as that say you've smoked a load you was planning to go to the gym you've now not gone to the gym because you're demotivated and then you've actually ended up eating a load of sugar and it's actually late at night you're then going to be affecting your sleep and obviously sleep is massive for your muscle recovery etc etc so that obviously is not optimal at all but apart from them three if you can think of another one that cannabis is a downside for muscle specifically for put it in the comments down below because all i can think of there is the munchies the demotivation and possibly affecting the sleep. So on to alcohol. The number one thing that is going to be detrimental for your gains whilst drinking alcohol is going to be that it literally directly suppresses protein synthesis. No! You can be hitting your protein goal throughout the day, you can train really hard and optimally, and then you can drink alcohol and you will grow less than if you didn't drink the alcohol because it's not going to be optimally using that protein to repair the muscles. Also, it changes some hormones which people are not aware of whatsoever. It actually indirectly lowers your testosterone, increases your prolactin and your estrogen, which are feminine hormones, and that's not going to be optimal for your anabolic status. And then again, going to be bad for your strength, for your muscle recovery, etc. As well as lowering your testosterone, it simultaneously increases your cortisol. So that will in turn increase systemic inflammation. That will increase the length of time that you are experiencing DOMS for. Therefore, if you are experiencing DOMS for maybe a couple more days because of this alcohol that you've consumed, you're not gonna be able to push as hard in the gym. Therefore, going to be losing out on the new gains that you would have done if you weren't drinking the alcohol. I said to myself, no, I'm a dumb motherfucker. The next two kind of go hand in hand. We obviously know that alcohol dehydrates you and that's one of the reasons that you actually feel really crappy the next day dehydration is the number one pump killer if you haven't got the water within your body and you haven't got the hydration in your muscles to get a good pump then no matter how much pre-workout you take you're not going to get as good of a pump because you haven't got the volume of blood and water there to give you that pump 
As I said, this goes hand in hand with sleep. Alcohol really does ruin sleep pretty bad. It doesn't matter if you've had like only one or two drinks and you feel like you've had a good night's sleep because you've got to sleep straight away. It really affects that REM sleep. Obviously, that's going to be when you are repairing your body, you're recovering the muscle, your central nervous system is recovering, and also your growth hormone is blunted because you are not getting that optimal sleep. So not only is your testosterone tanked and your estrogen is up, but also your growth hormone, natural production, is also tanked. Double, triple, no. Oh no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Not only is the sleep and the dehydration going to affect your sessions for the next two to three days, but also in that first 24 hour period, after you've boozed hard, your motor skills and your mind to muscle is not going to be nowhere near as good as it would be if you would not have drank. Therefore, you're not going to get as good of a workout on their muscles because of that reason as well. We all know mind to muscle and hypertrophy is the number one thing for building muscle. Number one that people don't actually know, it impairs the nutrient partitioning. Therefore, the proteins and the carbs that you're eating are more likely to be stored as fat than they are to go to fixing your muscle because alcohol is all Always metabolize first. The final point is, it goes without saying that alcohol has an absolute ton of empty calories. Cannabis doesn't have any calories whatsoever, unless obviously you get the munchies, then you will be eating a lot of calories. But the actual alcohol itself contains a lot of calories. It's like seven calories per gram of alcohol, which is a hell of a lot, especially if you want to be lean and muscular, that's not going to be optimal whatsoever. So there it is, if you legally had to pick one based off of bodybuilding and muscle growth alone, I would suggest cannabis. Please let me know in the comments down below which one you would pick and why you would actually pick that. But until next time, let's smash the gym and make some gains. Boom.